Welcome to WPTrainingVideos.com. This is Module 3, Multi-Site Magic and Introduction. Now you are ready for this particular video if by now you can create a WordPress site. In this video, we're going to cover the multi-site feature. This is actually a new feature and I'm going to cover what it is and how you could possibly use it. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to tell a story here about Roger the Robot. Now, Roger started a WordPress site and everything was going really, really well and he was talking about his life and all this fun stuff. Then he decided, you know, I really like dogs and I'm going to start another WordPress site about dogs. So now he's got two WordPress sites. He's going back and forth. And there's two different logins and two different passwords and two different places to do everything, but that's okay. It's only a couple of sites. But then he decides, you know, let's start one about cats. And he comes across turtles and really, really digs turtles. So then he's got four blogs total and finally his batteries start running down. So he starts researching batteries and lo and behold, he starts a battery blog. So now he's got five different websites, five different logins, five different things to update all the time, five different things to keep track of. And it can get a little hectic for our poor buddy, Roger. But with the new WordPress feature, what Roger could do is set up a networked blog, otherwise known as multi-sites. So let's give an idea of what that would look like. Basically, all sites are just sort of under one master login. So Roger controls all the sites just from one master portal. And what's really, really cool about this particular feature is that you could set up different domain names for each of those little other WordPress sites that you create. And nobody would know the difference. Nobody would know that you hadn't created a whole new site. So it really is just from a maintenance level, very, very easy to maintain if you set up multi-sites in the beginning. Okay, let's go ahead and review. Now, what can you use a multi-site for? Well, family blog uh, off the top of my head. So if you have uh, mom and dad, and then maybe the kids want their own blog to run, you could actually set up different permissions. They could have completely different themes from the family blog. And of course, if you're an internet marketer, niche sites come to mind very, very quickly. So if you want to set up one for digital cameras, uh, another one for puppy training, you could do that all for one master login. So it makes it really easy to keep everything up to date. You can manage all your plugins, all your themes, you have all your passwords all in one central location. Now, before you move on, think about some possible uses for this particular feature and keep those comments coming, especially in this particular module, because it does get a little complicated. Coming up next, it's time to go under the hood.